Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about armadillo incredible armadillo facts the armored shell consists of overlapping scales known as scutes. These scales are made from keratin, a protein also found in hair and nails. Evidence suggests that this keratin is actually just modified skin that evolved for defensive protection. Armadillos are animals that are naturally susceptible to several human diseases, including leprosy. In human societies, armadillos are animals that have been traditionally used as food, clothing, and even musical instruments, and they are symbolic creatures in many different cultures. Rudyard Kipling brought this animal to greater worldwide prominence in his short story, The Beginning of the Armadillos, from his 1902 children's book Just So Stories in which it was featured as a symbolism for cleverness. A group of gigantic armadillos with spiky club-shaped tails once roamed across the Americas beginning around 20 million years ago. Formerly known as the Glyptodonts, it is believed that they were as big as a Volkswagen Beetle. Despite their enormous size, they were actually grazing herbivores that lacked canine teeth. They appeared to go extinct around the last ice age more than 10,000 years ago. Armadillo appearance Armadillos look a bit like armored opossums, though unrelated, with their pointed snouts, short legs, a long tail, sharp claws, and big ears. These creatures are commonly known for their rather plain gray or brown appearance, but in fact, some armadillos have pink, red, or even yellow coloring. They also vary widely in size. The smallest is the pink fairy armadillo at a mere 5 inches long whereas the largest is the giant armadillo at impressive 59 inches and 120 pounds in weight. This is the size of some larger dogs. Giant armadillos also have up to 100 teeth and 6-inch claws. Armadillo behavior Armadillos are very gifted diggers. By using their sharp claws, they can create massive burrows in the ground to serve as a safe and comfortable home, where, lined with leaves and vegetation, they sleep for up to 16 hours a day. In fact, they are such proficient diggers that their abandoned burrows are sometimes inhabited by snakes, rabbits, skunks, rats, and many other animals. Other potential sources of armadillo nests include hollow logs and long grasses or shrubs. The digging ability also serves another important purpose. It is the main means of locating food in the ground. This is bolstered by their superior sense of smell, which makes up for their relatively poor eyesight. They can easily sniff out hidden food beyond the sight of most animals. Moreover, long sprouts of hair on their skin, though not their shell, allow them to feel their way around narrow gaps and enclosed environments. Like the anteater, the armadillo has a remarkably long tongue to suck up its prey hiding deep within the ground. Armadillo habitat Armadillos are almost exclusively endemic to Central America and South America. The only exception is the nine-banded species, which is also found in the United States. They are completely absent from Africa, the Eurasian supercontinent, and the Australian area. The greatest variation of this species is found around the Paraguay region. This is due to the fact that it evolved in South America and only slowly migrated out to the rest of the hemisphere. It is possible that armadillos will continue to expand northward into the northern United States and Canada as the climate warms. Armadillos live in grasslands, rainforests, wetlands, and semi-desert regions of the Americas. These ecosystems provide plenty of places with sandy or loose soil for easy digging and excavation. However, because of their diverse diet, these creatures are capable of surviving in a large number of different ecosystems and habitats.